depending on your landscaping objectives. Different types of low-maintenance tiny shrubs will work best in front of your home. Whether you want a neat hedge of compact shrubs for privacy or a more open, natural appearance in your front yard, you'll need to make a choice. An excellent place to begin is with the plants on this list of compact, low-maintenance shrubs. Number 1. Bluebeard Like other mint family members, takes relatively little maintenance to look beautiful. This naturally mounding shrub prefers sunny front yards where it can attract pollinators with its charming tiny purple blue flowers in July and September. Most years, Bluebeard will die back to the ground in colder places within its hardiness range, but it will swiftly spring back to life in the spring. Zones 5 through 9 are ideal for Bluebeard. Number 2. Dwarf Fothergilla Dwarf Fothergilla, or Fothergilla gardeni, is a small, low-maintenance shrub that is commonly referred to as bottle brush. It blooms with a profusion of white feathery flowers every spring, drawing in hordes of pollinators. In the fall, the green leaves of this native deciduous shrub will transform into a rainbow of yellows and oranges. Dwarf Fothergilla does best in zones five through nine. Number three, Nana Purple Willow. The standard purple willow grows to be a large shrub of approximately 10 feet in height, while the dwarf variant Nana only reaches about half that size. This willow has delicate blue-green leaves that stay that color all summer long on purple stalks. If you live in a flood-prone area or want to create a rain garden, this is the perfect plant to utilize. Nana Purple Willow thrives in zones three to seven. Number four, Oak Leaf Hydrangea. Long blooming flowers, vibrant autumn foliage, and intriguing peeling bark all add to the appeal of the native shrub known as Oak Leaf Hydrangea. They look great in a front yard design with large shade trees because they naturally exist in wooded areas. Since they don't become much taller than eight feet, they can hold their own in an established garden without taking over. Zones five through nine are ideal for growing oak leaf hydrangea. Number five, paper bush. The little shrub paper bush will give your front yard a special touch with the creamy yellow, highly fragrant blossoms it produces on its bare branches in late winter or early spring. Paper bush is a slow growing shrub that can reach heights and widths of around seven feet with little to no maintenance beyond occasional pruning. Paperbush thrives in zones seven through 10. Number six, showy hebe. Beautiful evergreen shrub native to New Zealand, showy hebe or Veronica speciosa is a great choice for front yard landscaping in moderate areas and along the coast. Showy hebes are grown not just for their glossy green leaves, but also for the vivid pink flower spikes that appear periodically during the growing season. Zones six through nine are ideal for the showy heap. Number seven, Virginia Sweet Spire. The naturally occurring mounding form of the Virginia Sweet Spire is achieved without cutting its beautifully arching branches. A lovely smell wafts from the hanging white flowers that bloom in the summer. This low-maintenance tiny shrub thrives in a wide range of soil types, including clay, and may tolerate partial shade. Virginia Sweet Spire grows best in hardiness zones five through nine. Number eight, Wagala. While a standard Wagala can grow rather tall, there are several dwarf cultivars that make lovely front yard shrubs. For instance, a minuet can only grow to be about three feet tall at most. Weeflas blue profusely for weeks in late spring and again in summer with colors ranging from white to pink and crimson. Leaves can be any color, from green to scarlet to variegated. 
Wakelet is most successful when planted in zones four through nine. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.